To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Now that we have understood that a stipulation regarding time of payment is not an essence of the contract unless and until it has been specifically mentioned in the contract. But stipulation with respect to delivery of goods, the time of delivery is an essence of the contract which means time of payment is not an essence in case of a contract of sale unless and until specified in the agreement but time of delivery of goods is an essential part of a contract of sale and the delivery of goods has to happen without any delay. This is what we have discussed with regard to stipulation as to time. Let's now understand what a stipulation is and what are the different types of stipulation which can be there in a contract of sale. Generally, what happens is whenever a person goes to a shop to purchase a good, the seller, he will always make certain representations about his good. Let's understand this with help of an example. So lady Mrs. Eshwarya, she wants to purchase a sari. So she wants to purchase a Kanjivaram silk sari. She goes to a shop where they have a lot many options of Kanjivaram silk saris available. So she goes there and she asks the seller to show her good quality Kanjivaram saris. Now when the seller shows her different types of saris, he tells that this is the pure material and the work on this has been done by so many people and the work is very neat. So these are some of the representations which the seller will make. He'll first tell about the good quality of the sari. He tells, he tells her that the material of the sari, the cloth which has been used is pure and it is pure Kanjivaram silk. You will not find it anywhere else in the town. And apart from it, he also says that the design which has been made on the sari is also very intricate. It's very delicate and you will not be able to find this anywhere else in the town. We are specialists in selling Kanjivaram saris and the designs which we have you will not find anywhere else. The color is very good. The color will look good on you. So these are some of the representations which are being made by the seller. So any situation whenever you go out to purchase a good, there are many representations which will be made by the seller. But obvious, he wants to sell a product, so he'll obviously tell you about the good quality of the product. And now Aishwarya, she being the buyer, what she does is, she looks at the sari and there at one place she finds out that there's a thread, there's a thread which is coming out of the sari. So she tells that there's a defect in the sari, so you will now have to give this sari to me at a reduced price. At some other place she finds that there's a uh, there's a change in the color, the color has faded away. So she tells uh, tells the salesman that, see look, the color has also faded away. Now you'll have to reduce the price. So usually whenever there's a contract of sale which is being made or rather whenever there's a sale which is happening, there are representations which will be done by the buyer and uh, there are representations which will be made by the seller and there'll be negotiations with respect to the price which will happen between the buyer and the seller. Now these representations, the seller will always talk about the good quality of the good which he is selling. Whereas when we come to the buyer's perspective, the buyer's buyer will always want to bargain and reduce the price. And for that, the buyer will try and find out some of the other defect in the good. So this is the usual thing which happens whenever sale of goods is happening. Now in this situation, the seller when he's making representations such as this is pure Kanjivaram silk and the design is intricate, it is very delicate. All these representations which are being made by the seller, these representations are called as stipulations. So stipulations are nothing but the representations which are being made by a seller in a contract of sale. So all the representations which are being made by the seller, they are nothing but the stipulation. But every stipulation is not important in a contract of sale. Only those stipulations which induce the buyer to purchase the product. Basically only those stipulations which have an impact on the decision making of the buyer. 
So now when Aishwarya was purchasing a silk sari, she wanted the cloth to be a pure cloth. Now that the seller is telling that this is a pure Kanjivaram silk sari, it must be a pure Kanjivaram silk sari only. And she relies on what the seller has told. She has relied on the seller's representation. So these kind of representations which have an impact on the buyer's decision making, these kind of representations are called as stipulations. Apart from talking about the quality of cloth, the seller has made many other representations about the color, about the designs, but these are all some basic representations which any seller would make. These representations are not inducing Aishwarya, are not persuading Aishwarya to purchase the sari. The only representation which has an impact on Aishwarya is that the cloth is pure. Now, this representation is an essential stipulation. So, every stipulation is not important, which means that every stipulation will not have a legal effect. But those stipulations which have an impact on the buyer's decision making, whether he wants to purchase the good or not, those stipulations are considered as very important and those stipulations will also have a legal impact. Now, when we are talking about stipulations, there may be stipulations which are very significant, which are very essential to the contract of sale. But there may also be stipulations which are not very significant, which are less significant, which are not very essential to the contract of sale. So here when Aishwarya was purchasing a sari, the very important stipulation here was the pure quality of the cloth. So this is a very significant stipulation. It has a significant impact on the decision making which has been made by Aishwarya. Now say Aishwarya has purchased the sari and later she finds out that the cloth is not pure Kanjivaram silk. Now in this situation Aishwarya what she will do? Any normal buyer or any rational buyer, what will that buyer do? He'll go back to the seller and give the goods back. He, she now goes back to the shop and returns the sari, stating that you told me that it is pure Kanjivaram silk, but this is not pure Kanjivaram silk, so I do not want this sari anymore. And you have to return the money back, which I've paid for the purpose of purchase of sari, and also you'll have to give me damages. You'll also have to pay me some amount as damages. So here what has happened, Aishwarya, when she figures out that the cloth of the sari is not pure Kanjivaram silk, she goes back to the seller and returns the sari. And why is that so? Because it was a very essential stipulation, it was very significant stipulation that the cloth is pure Kanjivaram silk. But when she figures out that it is not pure Kanjivaram silk, she has this right where she goes back to the seller and returns the sari back to him. Uh, but say if later on she finds out that there's the color of the sari has faded away or something is happened or, or there's a thread which has come out of the sari. Now this is not a very significant part of the contract. She did not look at the color or she did not look at the thread and purchase the sari. She looked at the quality of cloth. The quality of cloth was here a very essential stipulation, very significant stipulation. But the color and the thread coming out is not an essential stipulation. The seller, he mentioned that the color is very nice, the color will not fade away. And he also told that uh, the designs are very intricate, even find a single thread coming off the sari. So these are all additional representations which were made by the seller. But these are not very significant. This, these are less significant than the quality of cloth. So in this situation, say the color comes, uh, the color fades away on wash or there's a thread which is coming out. In this situation, Aishwarya, she can go to the seller, but she cannot return the sari, but she can definitely demand for some damages or she can definitely demand for some amount as a compensation for the color fading away or, or the thread coming off or she may also ask for an exchange of the sari. So there are different things which Aishwarya can do. But here she does not have a right, she cannot cancel the contract altogether. Here when there was 
a defect in the quality of cloth it was very significant stipulation and because it was very significant stipulation aishwarya she went back and she returned the sari recovered the and took the refund but here when the color has faded away or a thread has come off this is not very significant it is less significant stipulation so in the situation aishwarya she can claim only damages and she cannot return the sari back and demand the whole refund of the amount so when we talk about stipulations stipulation can be of two types one is very significant very essential to the contract of sale and the other is less significant and which is not very essential to the contract of sale basically it is collateral to the contract of sale so a stipulation which is very essential to the contract of sale is called as a condition whereas a stipulation which is not very essential to the contract of sale which is collateral to the contract of sale is termed as a warranty